Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 5th. I'm still in the remote location. Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Longmont Public Media. Tuesday, May 11th is our new moon with moon rising and setting very close to sunrise and sunset time. Nothing to see there. We'll get drought conditions from last week to this week. Things haven't changed much, but a whole bunch more water has come down. We've gotten over an inch in many locations. So we are definitely going to see this map change. But the good news is right around here and up into Larimer County, we are in drought-free conditions. And overall, the eastern plains, especially the northeast, has improved greatly. Nationally, not much to see change much, a little uh, lessening of the long-term drought region. Um, that's with the same relief in the uh, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas uh, intersection region. And speaking of moisture, we had a prolonged period of rain from Sunday into Tuesday. And so for the first period up to Monday, we had about a half inch around Longmont, two thirds of an inch in some places, and up to an inch to an inch and a half across much of Boulder. Going to the next morning, we picked up another about a third of an inch with Boulder getting about four tenths of an inch almost a half inch of liquid. Look at the last seven days, half inch to three quarters of an inch are the light greens. Dark greens take you up to inch and a half of water over the area. This is fantastic. Now, we saw that the western slopes are still very dry and down in the southwest also needs moisture and that did not happen this last seven days, but we'll keep an eye on it. As the uh, next few systems move through. Looking at Thursday noon, we have our giant ridge coming in to bring the heat back, and we have Northwest Flow Aloft. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, Northwest Flow allows little ripples to come through, interact with moisture at the surface, and kick off storms, especially in the afternoon, especially in the spring and the summer. So that's kind of what we have coming for this middle week, the beginning of this forecast period. You look at Thursday afternoon, you can see the orientation of the precipitation is northwest to southeast, little trains of, uh, of thunderstorm or early shower activity trailing around, and some of it could hit Longmont and northeastern Colorado. Look at the next 10 days, the normal low temperature rising from 39 to 42, the normal high from 67 to 71. Very spring-like, and the actual temperatures will stay on the cool side at the beginning with that uh, northwest flow. As the ridge passes, we go abnormally warm, and then we have more troughiness coming in next week with general showers again. So we're in a more wet than not pattern, and the amount of moisture in the air on Tuesday morning with fog, dew, and like that really shows a change over the last year. So over the next 10 days, we have that ridge moving into the western U.S. By Friday, it's passing over, giving us super heat. Here comes the next system digging in, cut off low in the flow for the weekend. And this one's getting here a little earlier. It seems each storm settles in about a half a day or so a day earlier. Monday into Tuesday, deep trough digging up down to the southwest. It crosses and ejects on Wednesday with another little ripple coming in behind it. So generally unsettled, generally cool weather through next Friday. Looking at temperatures, our current pool of cool air finally gets pushed away Friday into Saturday as that ridge comes over. Here comes the cool air associated with the next system. A little cold front spreads down on Sunday. That seems familiar. Pressing down into Texas, and then some pretty chilly air for the beginning of next week. Cold air stays pushed up against the mountains into Wednesday, and then finally begins to leave near the end of the week. Looking at precipitation, we have that northwest trending, southeast trending precipitation pattern at the beginning. Going into the weekend, we see some showers and thunderstorms form and move off. The low to the uh, southeast 
pushes moisture briefly up for the weekend. There's some rain and snow in the Monday, Tuesday, the next week, stretching on into Wednesday before it begins to move out. So we kind of have this pattern going. The cutoff lows roll through with strong but kind of narrow ridges in between. Looking at the snowfall, that next system does look a little cooler, and so we see at least a trace of snow out to Sterling, up to Cheyenne, and then just west of the interstate. Maybe it's a half inch, maybe it's an inch or two of snow in Longmont. Mountains picking up another good hit. Western slopes, southwest, still not getting it. Looking at precipitation, uh, we're in the inch to inch and a half to two inch area for water equivalent over the next 10 days. Uh, each time that's been overdone in these systems. We end up, like we saw there, less, just a little less than an inch, but still close to an inch is a fantastic amount of water for this part of the nation, this early part of the spring. But nonetheless, inch and a half to two inches is an indication that this is going to be a very similar system, probably around an inch, uh, for Long Mountain I-25. So we start cool Wednesday, 60s. We warm rapidly to the 70s on Thursday, 80s on Friday. We cool back down next week. You can see temperatures at night almost getting down to freezing with a really good chance of Sunday into Monday precipitation. And looking into, we have a new month. We have a new month to look at. Uh, the May outlook from NOAA has above normal temperatures. Now, looking back, that was uh, also forecasted for April, and it turned out to be pretty close to normal. Uh, we had some real heat at times. We also had uh, prolonged cool periods, so that wasn't the greatest forecast for April. Looking at precipitation, they had us significantly below normal for April, and we ended up significantly above normal, so that was a complete bust in precipitation uh, in the last month outlook. Uh, this month they have us at near normal, trending towards dry, especially in the southwestern part of the state, which, if that verifies, it's not great news for the drought. For frequent weather updates and discussion, check out Longmont Leader as well as lo local Longmont News. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth. Keep looking.